Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? n power n equals n power 2. Now, if you consider this identity a power a equals a power b, now since the bases are the same, you can say that a equals b. So applying this identity here, you are going to have n equals 2. So this becomes one of the solutions for n. But this equation will give us more than just one solution. Now, this is because the exponent here is 2, meaning that we are looking for two different solutions. So let's start and solve it the right way. How are we going to solve to find all the values of n? So we are going to make use of natural log. I have natural log of n power n equals natural log of n power 2. So if you have log of a power b, this will give you b times log of a. So this simply means if you have natural log of a power b, this will give you b times natural log of a. So that means the n here will come behind this and the 2 will come behind this. So what we are going to have will be n times natural log of n equals 2 times natural log of n. So n times natural log of n, this is n natural log of n equals 2 times natural log of n. This is 2 natural log of n. So how do we solve for n? What we can do is we can just divide this by natural log of n. We divide this by natural log of n. This cancel this, this cancel this. We have n equals 2. This is giving us only one solution. And we can also decide to solve this. In another method, I can multiply this out. This is n times natural log of n equals 2 times natural log of n. I can move this over here. That will give us n times natural log of n. This becomes minus 2 times natural log of n equals 0. So, I have natural log of n, I have natural log of n, I can factor that out. This divide natural log of n, I have n minus. This divide natural log of n, I have 2. And this equals 0. So at this particular point, I can equate each of these to 0. I have natural log of n equals 0. I also have n minus 2 equals 0. So let's solve these individual equations. I start with this. I have n minus 2 equals 0. So to solve for n, I can move this over here. I will have n equals 2. This is my n1. Now there's also another equation here that I can use to solve for the other value of n. I have natural log of n equals 0. I can eliminate this ln by having e power natural log of m equals e power 0. So at this point, e eliminate ln, so I have n equals e power 0. And at this point, I can have n equals e power 0 is 1. So I have 1. I have n equals 1 and also have n equals 2. So in this particular approach of solving, we have gotten two different solutions. Now, let's solve this whole equation using another method. We have n power n equals n power 2. I can decide to divide this by n power 2. I divide this by n power 2. n power 2 divides n power 2. I have n power n divided by n power 2. 
equals one. Now, if you have a power b divided by a power c, this equals a power b minus c. So since the bases are the same, you subtract the exponent. So you are going to have n power n minus 2, and this equals 1. So at this particular point, I can make use of natural log. I have natural log of n power n minus 2 equals natural log of 1. Remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So if you also have natural log a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. That means this n minus 2 will come behind this. So right now, I'm going to have n minus 2 times natural log of n equals natural log of 1. And what I want you to know is that the natural log of 1 is zero. So I have n minus 2 times natural log of n equals zero. So at this particular point, I can equate each of these to zero. I have n minus 2 equals zero. I have natural log of n equals zero. So let's solve this individual equation. I start with this one here. I have n minus 2 equals zero. I move this over here. I have n equals 2. So this is my n1. Now let's also solve this one here. I have natural log of n equals 0. So let's solve for n. I need to eliminate this natural log. I have e power natural log of n equals e power 0. So the e eliminate the ln. I have n equals e power 0. So from here, I have n equals 1. So all these are the different methods of solving, and we have gotten the same solution, which is n equals 1 and n equals 2. So let's check. We have n power n equals n power 2. We start by checking when n equals 2. That means I'm going to have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2. So from here, 2 power 2, this is 4, equals 2 power 2, that is 4. Both sides are the same. That's correct. We also check when n equals 1. I have n power n equals n power 2. That means I have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 2. Of course, 1 power 1 is 1, equal 1 power 2 is 1. Both sides are the same again. So guys, this is how you can easily solve this exponential problem using the, any of the methods. So this is it, guys. Now, for you to solve this exponential problem, the first step of checking to know the answer is just by making use of the identity when the pieces are the same. You compare the exponent, but that will give you only one solution. That will give you only one solution, which is n equals 2. For you to solve and get all the solutions, you make use of natural log. So you take natural log on both sides. And remember, if you have natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. So that will give you this. So then you can decide to divide by natural log of n. But that will only give you one solution, which is 2. If you want to solve for the other solutions, then what you need to do is you move this over here, you move the 2 times natural log of n over here to form this equation, then you factor out natural log of n because they are common. And once you factor that out, you have two equations. You can say equip each of these to 0, natural log of n equals 0, and minus 2 equals 0. By doing that, you solve the equations individually. n minus 2 equals 0, meaning n equals 2. Natural log of n equals 0, you make use of e to eliminate natural log, then you have n equals e power 0, which is 1. So that is one 
way of solving it. Another method is by dividing the both sides of this equation by n power 2. Then you apply this identity. If you have a power b divided by a power c equals a power b minus c, then you have this, then you apply natural log. And once you apply natural log, we are going to have this exponent come behind the natural log. And remember, natural log of 1 is 0. So after this, you can formulate two different equations, n minus 2 equals 0, natural log of n equals 0. So at this point, you solve the both equation, then we are going to have two different solutions as well. So guys, this is how you can actually solve this using any of the methods. So that is it. Thank you and bye-bye.